like to welcome you all to this important ceremony today. We will begin with our acknowledgement of country by Steph Hines. Natnwa Tiama Tinwunta, Natnwa Karen Timpikurong, Miring Yamba, Muka Ni Wanga, Luchung Pikurong Ma Pamba Alami. We acknowledge that where we stand is Pikurong country and pay our respects to the Pikurong people and their ancestors. Today, we are here to honour 11 students who have been awarded the John King Citizenship Award for 2020. Mr John King was principal of this school for over 30 years, through two world wars and the depression, and these awards have been named after him to recognise his contributions to our community. Being a good citizen involves looking to make a difference to the world you live in, as either a citizen of Warrnambool, Australia or even the world. It is about becoming aware of your responsibilities as a citizen, getting involved and playing your part. Today we are welcoming 11 new recipients of this award. All of these students are well respected by their peers and teachers and have all taken on many positions of responsibility during their time at Brower. In fact, four of our winners are Brower College senior captains. They have all been very successful in their academic studies and each in their own way has made significant contributions to the wider community. I will very briefly outline a few of their achievements for you. Listen for the things that these people have in common, but also be inspired by how each of them has used their own particular skills and passions for the betterment of the whole community. Amy Buck. Amy takes great pride in the contribution she has made as a corporal in the Australian Army Cadets and the leadership skills she gained from this experience. She has used these skills to contribute to the Brow community by leading many initiatives, giving voice to students and raising awareness of and implementing actions to support a variety of different issues. Amy has certainly made a positive impact on our school and the wider community. Kaya Chisholm. Kaya is a great example of a student who has contributed widely across the school and her community during her time at Brower. She has been involved in many sporting events, especially with her netball, and has made the most of our co-curricular programme while taking advantage of many opportunities to improve her skills. She is led by example on many occasions by volunteering her time to represent the college in the wider community. Tristan Gibbs. Tristan never passes on the opportunity to have a go at something new and makes a conscious effort to always apply himself to the best of his ability. He has given generously of his time and expertise in promoting the college with his public speaking skills and his passion for volleyball has a significant impact on the local club and especially the younger members. Rachel Johnstone. Rachel enjoys doing things with and for others. She is involved in multiple community sport groups and is a great fundraiser and organiser of events. She was instrumental in organising and maintaining the school vending machine. Rachel is well liked and respected by her peers and goes about her work in a quiet and unassuming manner. Bridie McDonough. Whilst being a high academic achiever, Bridie has also immersed herself in many different co-curricular opportunities at Brower. Her passion for dancing is reflected in her involvement in the college musicals and bad productions every year and her leadership skills have been put to the test as an SRC representative and Warrnambool City Youth Councillor. Bridie eagerly puts her hand up to support her peers and is a well-respected member of the class of 2020. Kayla Neve. Volunteering her time and providing services to the community has been a normal part of life for Kayla, as she contributes her time freely to many different groups, both at school and in the wider community. She has also made the most of all opportunities at Brower being involved across the broad range of areas in the co-curricular programme. She has taken advantage of many programmes that help develop leadership skills and has used these skills to support her peers and the wider school community. Riley Nicholson. Riley is a high achieving elite athlete in the fields of football and basketball. He has certainly given back to his community as captain, coach and volunteer at South Warrnambool. His involvement at this level has honed his leadership skills to the advantage of all those he comes in contact with. This, coupled with his involvement in the Brower co-curricular programme and his dedication to his academic studies, places him as a well-deserved recipient of this award. Hannah Price. Hannah's passion for sport has been an avenue for her to contribute to many different programmes at school and beyond. As a player, coach and volunteer, she has developed strong leadership skills that hold her in high regard. She has a very mature sense of community and contributes across a broad range of co-curricular programmes, supporting her peers and teachers alike. As a Kwong Lee Dao scholar, her unwavering commitment to her studies is a testament to her tremendous work ethic. 
Sebastian Simmons. Community service and volunteering are very high on the agenda for Sebastian and his family who regularly make time to brighten up the lives of the city's senior citizens and those less fortunate. Sab is the holder of the Deakin Uni Young Influencer Scholarship and he studies criminology at Deakin along with his other Year 12 studies. Combining this with his leadership roles has meant a high degree of time management was needed to be successful this year. Cassidy Waller. As a Moynshire Youth Councillor, Cassidy is well accustomed to speaking on behalf of her peers and volunteering generously for roles and responsibilities in representing the college. She has contributed widely to her sports clubs as a player, coach and volunteer and involved herself at every opportunity with the co-curricular programme. As a Kwang Lee Dow Scholar, her academic achievements have been outstanding. Malka Yota. Malka has made the most of every opportunity throughout her time at Brower. She has always tried her best in all of her classes and likes to approach everything with a positive attitude. She loves to make people smile and feel good when she has contributed to a project or worked with others to make a positive change, whether at school or in the wider community. Her outstanding leadership skills have been used on many occasions to support both her peers and the college leadership team. As the current president of the Broward College School Council, I would like to add my congratulations to the winners and nominees of the 2020 John King Citizenship Awards. As you have heard, these awards pay respect to the memory of John King and the many things he achieved as an exemplary citizen of our community. I am delighted that so many students continue to exhibit the values that he held and thereby strengthen the Broward College community. I have a quote in my bathroom wall which reads, you get what you settle for. And I'm delighted that these students have decided not to settle for being ordinary or just doing enough to get through. These students deserve recognition because they understand that being a good citizen means positive contributions to the community, supporting others and being a leader in difficult times. We have heard the reasons why these students are being recognised. It's a combination of many things. Academic excellence, sporting success, volunteering to make the community a better place, showing empathy and respect and conscientiously helping others. I hope these students feel pride in their achievements and I look forward to seeing the changes they will make in the future for our community. I also look forward to celebrating the future of other senior Brow students who have not been recognised today. We know there are many of you who are not settling and your achievements will be amazing. Thank you.